but it's left some farmers annoyed about the loss of land for livestock and poor cell phone reception. The Department of Science and Technology today commissioned 16 satellite dishes, which are part of the Mirkat project. 16 gigantic dishes. They will provide data to scientists worldwide. The local community is also reaping the benefits of the SKA. They include bursaries for high-performing pupils and economic spin-offs for businesses. But 16 farmers fear the SKA is encroaching on much-needed land for livestock and is also blocking their cell phone signal. Science and technology says mitigating measures are being taken. There's also some mischief uh, because there's some disinformation uh, being provided to workers in order to perhaps lift up the price uh, of the uh, land that we are hoping to purchase. But just thus far things have gone very, very well. We have set in motion a process of identifying what the impact may be on productive uh, farms uh, in the area and whether we need to look at our social uh, inclusion uh, pro programs that we run as a department and these would certainly come into play should we identify a need. The cell phone interference is also being resolved. We have come up with alternative um, technologies. Uh, I think many of those technologies actually have been deployed already in the community so that they can still go on with their lives. 3,000 dishes including the meerkat are expected to be erected upon completion of the SK pending availability of funds. 8 billion rand is needed for the final phase. International partners are expected to contribute. Pule Mudupe, SABC News, Carnarvon, in the Northern Cape.